Now, electrical in this house is going to be a little different. Now, parts of the house are conventional framing, like the two by six walls here. And with conventional electrical, of course, you use these great plastic boxes, you drive them into the wall, you punch out the knockouts, you run your cable up along here, you staple your cables to the, uh, to the studs, and off you go. Now, in this house, with the styrofoam walls inside, it's a little bit different process. Now, we're working with Keith, who's our electrician on site. Keith, how's it going? Right, good. Now, tell us about what we're doing different in here that you do in a, a conventional framed house. Well, basically, you got to make yourself a channel through the foam. We do that by burning it out with the uh, heat gun. There are several different ways you can do it, but that's probably the neatest let, and Let me see the tool, because that's, that's an interesting, uh, interesting tool here, a heat gun. Just heats up and burns the foam through. You can pull it right out, as you can see out there a little bit here. Right. Now, like a soldering iron, it make th this whole element here is hot. Exactly. And, th and that'll melt through the styrofoam. Exactly. Foam. Can we uh, see you? Uh, sure. Do it. What are you going to do first? You're going to. Uh, I got to put an outlet here. Uh, okay. And mark the height and then channel it. We basically use 15 inches as a standard for the bottom of the box. So your box will be in this area. Right, okay. Basically, I'm just going to channel down the wall and make a groove for the wire. You should go back as deep as you can to protect the wire more. Just you, slowly. You want, you want the wire sitting pretty deep in the wall, exactly. right? Exactly. That way, you know, if anybody hangs a picture or something, they're not, not likely to drive a nail or screw into the wire. Sure. And what you're left with, then, is the cutout parts creating a little channel here. Right. Now, for cutting out our box, we have a, a, a different uh, hot knife, but the same sort of deal here. Kind of, again, like the uh, soldering iron model. The element this time is wider and rectangular, and that will cut out a hole just the right size. size. Here, Keith, we can see that it'll fit the box, so I'll let you uh, Alrighty. have at it. Need a little bit of room on top to get the wire in, so you want to make it slightly longer. Right, so you're a little higher than the box right. itself. So then you'll come back out come of the back bottom. Up. Look at that little plug will come right out of there. Basically, we're just using a Ram set gun. Okay. This is a powder actuated uh, nailer. Uses a little uh, gunpowder charge exactly. to, to drive the fastener into yeah, concrete. The fastener, right. All right. And it's a little loud, but it works rather well. Should try and make sure it's straight. Now, up top here, Keith is going to. Uh, fit the wire into the channel, and we'll come down from up above down to our box down here. Now, to keep the, uh, the wire sitting back in the channel all the way back against the concrete in there, Keith is uh, shoving little pieces of styrofoam that we cut with a hot knife every uh, so many inches. Again, keep in mind, we want that wire back against the concrete deep in the channel so it's not pierced from the outside when you're putting in nails or screws at some point in the future. Then we'll just feed the, uh, the wire down here into the box because we've already got the, uh, the knockout out. It'll come down here and then we'll tighten up with a cable clamp and secure this into position. And then we're on to the next box in the circuit, up and over to farther down the wall. And we'll do the same procedure again, cutting down with the hot knife to create a channel, cut out a hole for the box, and put our next outlet in.